Hello, hi, all right, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Kiana Kemper Dumont and thank you so much for joining. Really quickly, I wanna show you a very easy morning breakfast smoothie. You can substitute any of these items with other complimentary items. I'm just gonna show you what I have. So I'm gonna start with some spinach and I have some frozen spinach that I thawed out so it's no more than one uh, half of a cup. And I put this into my cup that I'm using. I have a Nutribullet that I use, but I know there are many different brands of blenders that are available. So this is one that I just wanted to use to show you a single serving. Sometimes it's a little bit more once you blend it together. Like I can't drink all of this, but um, here you go. So I'm gonna first load in my vegetable. So I have a leafy green and I have my spinach. And then I'm going to add in um, some blueberries. So this is a half cup of blueberries that I'll put in here. And then I took a half cup of apples and I put this in here. So it's starting to pile up. This is uh, great if you have a picky eater that doesn't want to eat any vegetables, don't like greens, if you have any children, or even some adults that don't want greens, don't want a green drink, definitely throw in some of those berries. They help to cover the color and it doesn't really you know, look like there's any greens that's in it at all. So just letting you know. All right, so I have a little bit of oatmeal and then two. Even for those picky eaters that don't want to eat the oats, there's um, you know very good nutritional information with um, whole grains. Um, some people are gluten-free, they are gluten-free oats, you can cook it ahead of time or you can do it raw, it's up to you. Uh, this is just how I'm doing it, so I'm sharing it with you. So this is cooked um, oats and this is measured at one fourth cup. And it's just a small portion to put in here and I add it to the cup. And then I have some yogurt. This is a half cup of yogurt. Uh, you can go with Greek yogurt, you can go with plain low fat yogurt, you pick whatever works for you and your diet needs, okay? And then, uh oh. There's just a little bit of um, liquid that I'll add to it once I'm all done. And uh, let's see what I have there. I have my greens, I have the fruits, I have the um, grain, and then I have, um, what else is in here? The yogurt. <laughs> I'm like, what is all these things in here? Okay. And so I'm going to add some dates just to sweeten it up a bit. I soaked the dates in a little bit of hot water to help uh, take it off the seed a bit more. Dates is a great way to add some natural sweetener and some more fiber to your um, smoothie. And again, without throwing in sugar and a whole bunch of other things. <laughs> so this is uh, what I find to be very nice. It depends on the quality of your blender if you're able to really like blend it well. Sometimes the little pieces of the dates, they get to be a bit sticky and they don't blend too well, depending on the blender that you have. But uh, it works well. I hope I don't put the seed in there. <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay. So I'll move this to the side. And then I'm going to top it off with a nutritional boost. And this is what I'm going to use is chia seed. This is one tablespoon of chia seed. The chia seed is a very good nutritious boost that you can add to almost any food. Um, you can have it on a plain bowl of oatmeal if you want, or you can have it in your smoothie. But I'm not going to do it dry. I actually soaked some chia seed overnight. I have the date on my finger up here. I have um, the chia seed I soaked overnight. I just took that one tablespoon. I don't have one with me, but here is one of them. I steal from this other one. This one tablespoon of chia seed, and I soaked it in water overnight and it formed this little gel. So supposedly, this helps to make it more digestible. And um, this is what you see some people doing with like chia puddings. Um, you can add it to your um, bowl of oats if you want, but I'm gonna add it to this smoothie. So this is still one tablespoon, but I added some water. So this is also gonna give me a bit more liquid in here. So because I have the yogurt and then I have this chia seed gel, you see how slimy it looks? <laughs> and if I try to give her this, like, ew, I don't want that. So I have the chia seed, the soaked chia seed gel on top, and then I'll move this to the side since I'm not using it. And I'm just gonna get just a little bit of liquid I'll add, and I'm using just plain low-fat milk, but you can use any plant-based milk, it's up to you, whatever works for you and your dietary needs. So I'll put that in there. And then if I do I want cinnamon, I'll just do just a pinch of cinnamon, just to add a little bit more flavor to it. And I think that's it. Like, why am I like crushed over like that? <laughs> So just a little bit of cinnamon, you adjust it to your taste. I'm just showing how it works. But this is really a great way that I know that, you know, the kids and whoever wants something quick and easy, they get a variety of different food groups into their body um, in the morning. Um, you can mix up, change the berries, you can change the apple, but you just wanna make sure you measure, measure it and you don't have too much of it. Yes, I'm doing this at home and then my phone is ringing, <laughs> but uh, we probably won't be able to hear once I turn this blender on. Okay, and sometimes this blender works right away the first time, so I'll just push it in here and see if it goes. No, that one didn't go. So let's see if this goes. Oh, I forgot to add ice. 
I really makes these smoothies very nice. So ooh, sometimes this one gets to be a bit tough to um, put the uh, take the lid off. But ice really makes it thick, and I think that's why my daughter likes it too because it kind of seems like it's a bit of um, whoops. <laughs> seems like it's a bit of a milkshake ice cream. Uh, really creamy. Uh, I like mine really liquid, like a fine mixture between a bit liquidy and a bit creamy. But I know that you know she likes that thick consistency. You want it to look like ice cream. So here you go. But you see, you can't even tell greens are in here. This is purple, very yummy looking. Okay. And then once it blends, you won't be able to see the little green pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this. Oops. Here we go again. <laughs> Like I said, I'm using a Nutribullet. If you're using that, and I probably could have dipped without, I'm talking too fast, sorry. <laughs> I probably could have done without the extra little milk because it's very liquid. Um, uh, if you're using it, you just want to make sure that you're pulsing it. You let it go for a little while, then let it um, take a break, and then you come back. <laughs> It just depends on how thick you want. If you have more space, you can add more. <laughs> and that's it. So this is the mango. Um, cheers. <laughs> Still in the bottle. But this is not even mango. This is blueberry, apple, oatmeal, and spinach morning smoothie. And again, who say you can only have it in the morning? You can have it when you, you don't want something. And you can see, I don't have a glass with me. I was going to drink it straight from here. The thickness of it, huh, it's a bit, not too thin and not too thick. Uh, but again, if you want to make it thicker, you can add more ice. And then maybe next time not add the liquid since you already have the yogurt. You can replace the yogurt with any type of plant protein that you want to have or any other protein item. But you want to make sure that you're at least having some source of protein in there. And then don't forget some type of vegetable. I see it, lots of smoothies, but they don't have vegetables in it. That's the point, you know? It helps to get those vegetables in, something that's probably really difficult to have on a regular day. Make it in there. Sorry, I'm talking like so fast, but uh, I'm just like getting excited and just wanted to share. So it took me forever to finally get this video, but here you go. Cheers. Okay, so till next time. All right, thank you so much for watching. Again, this is our blueberry apple um, smoothie <laughs> with all the goodness in it. Okay, cheers.